human beings have been performing computations for thousands of years, from tally sticks to Stonehenge to the portable and still employable abacus. The history of computing includes punch cards, tabulators, and desktop calculators, all leading to Alan Turing's influence on computer science with his mind-bending algorithms and miraculous program storing machine. In the mid-20th century, computers went commercial, developed by companies like Univac, Burroughs, NCR, Control Data, Honeywell, and IBM. This consortium produced large, customized, and expensive computer systems for government agencies and corporations. A new age in human computational history was about to dawn. In the 1960s, the status quo experienced a radical transformation. New ideas were forming as cultural, political, and social traditions came under question. The same can be said for the world of business computing. Generally considered the first modern mainframe, IBM's 360 reinvented business computing and delivered the technological firepower that allowed NASA's rocket scientists to look into the sky and say, hey, great. show the interface, but during another demonstration off-site, the team used a shoulder-mounted mini-projector to show the display on the body. There's no word on when or if the system will be commercialized, but Microsoft's interest in what was only a student's product seems to indicate that we might be using it in the future. So we dubbed that multi-toner action because obviously we're not touching with the fingers anymore. While this video is an early prototype on a small scale, the system can identify users by the soles of their shoes. It can distinguish between users who walk over the floor, which it ignores, and users who actually intend to interact with it. Users can pull up menus, draw, or even type, as the software can pinpoint the exact key a user would like to press, even though the foot may be covering multiple keys.